Hello everyone, my name is Mad Madi. Welcome back to my survival series. You're probably wondering, how did I end up with a green parrot? Oh, he's so cute. Well, let me tell you a story. First of all, sorry for my voice. I'm still trying to get better, but it's, it's rough. But it's better than it was, so we're going to roll with it. I didn't know what I should do in this episode, so to clear my mind, I got myself some TNT and I went exploding the nether. It took some time to use all of this TNT, but when it finally happened, I still didn't know what to do. So I went mining some more, this time in search of diamonds. And after a while, I ran out of torches. So I checked my coal supplies and it turned out that I am all out of coal. So I flew to the nearest stone shore or gravelly shore. I don't know how that biome is called. And I was surprised by two tamed parrots that teleported to me. I made new friends and that's always good when you're starting to feel alone in your single player world and in real life. Too, I suppose. I don't know. I'm an introvert. <laughs> and that was the moment I finally realized what I should do in today's episode. I wanted to make them a home. So I tried my hardest to bring them back home safely. And unfortunately, one of them didn't make it because of this stupid skeleton. <clears throat> And then I knew I desperately need to protect the one that was left. And luckily I managed to bring him home. I sat him down in my storage building and I named him Lemon. Even though he's green. It just came to me, you know. And here we are today. And we're going to make my new friend Lemon his own little home. But before we start, here are the results of my mining expeditions. We have this much ancient debris. Just over a stack. And 50 shiny new diamonds. And I have to go to my gold farm. Okay, be right back. And after a while we have um, 19 ingots, which is two blocks. Okay, so let's place the rest of the gold. Almost, almost. That's something. And new diamonds. Okay, and now to the episode. So I was thinking about a good place for a parrot. And I figured out that usually you see them in some kind of aviaries. I hope I said that somehow correctly. You know, those big domes in Zeus. And my plan is to make one today. And I was thinking, we have those sniffers and camels here in this area. So why not extend this walkway and make it right here in this empty spot? And this place is kind of made for something circular, so that's perfect. And we can like lower the terrain a little so it won't stick out as much. And oh, I'm so excited. We will make a pretty large dome like glass structure, but firstly, we need some materials. I started with chopping some jungle trees in my farm. I needed to get loads of wood, but also leaves. When I started running out of saplings, I just moved to the real jungle biome and started to collect those things there. Later, I stripped some spruce wood. I went for some fishes today in my prismarine farm, so later I could trade with my fishermen for emeralds. But it turned out to be just too slow, so I went back to my librarians and started buying bookshelves for books that I was later selling for emeralds. And when I got enough, I started buying glass. Tons of glass. I AFK'd in my gold farm for a while and then at my piglin bartering farm, because I needed some quartz. And last but not least, I created the most efficient glowberry farm, as you can see, and I got some glowberries. And now when I have everything, I hope. It's time to start working on this aviary. So the first thing I'd like to do is to get rid of all of that grass and flowers and extend this path upwards. I also need to lower the terrain a little and of course extend this brick wall down, blend the terrain somehow and yeah of course mark out the main shape. That should be easy, right? Okay, let's get to work! good job. As you can see the path is going down and here will be the entrance. It's quite a big area to work but obviously we need to go up but I feel I feel like 
this much space is enough for lemon. And here I made this wall out of stone and... Oh, I forgot about a block. Oh well. And this, this is a problem. This is a ceiling of the cave downstairs. I can show you. Those are these blocks. Yep. I don't know what to do with that, because I can't lower the ceiling. Maybe I'll just cover it with moss carpets on top. Uh, or maybe it just won't be a problem. I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. Anyway, I believe that it's right time to start building the main shape of our aviary. And this may take a while. Okay, let me tell you something, making this sphere roof out of glass was a nightmare. Just remind me to never do that again. Or like mark it out first with dirt or something, I don't know, but it's done right now. We have an entrance here and it's empty. We'll fill it out later, don't worry, but this roof looks pretty nice from up here. I needed to constantly check in if it's correct, but I think it is. Okay, let's get rid of this. Now, we have a path and maybe a bridge here over a small lake with fishes. Let's say this is a bridge. And then we have like tree here, here and here. Big luscious trees that maybe are even outgrowing the dome roof or something. And a lot of greenery and bamboo. And basically jungle, but better. Okay, hopefully that gave you some idea. And now let's get rid of that because it's ugly as hell. <laughs> and I will start making ourselves some trees. did it but I like it okay it's just the beginning those are just trees nothing else but I really like how it turned out it's lushy green and full of some veins and I'll add some globers later but I don't have shears on me right now I even added some leaves on the roof and look I replaced some of the glass outside so it would look like the trees are, are basically coming through the roof and I really, really like it. And this effect is all the way around the dome. But now I think it's time to finish this place up. Add some greenery, a small water pond, a bridge, and make use of all of the lush stuff I prepared for this project. So yeah, let's finish this aviary up. It's done and I am so happy of how it turned out. But from the beginning, we have this path going to the small bridge. We have a couple of bamboo patches all around, all of the different blocks, light sources, even in the water. Oh, and yeah, we have a, a cot. I accidentally brought a bucket of cot instead of a normal water bucket, so yeah. There's a cot. And I love this place so, 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 so much. But before Lemon can move in, I need some more life. Let's go to our coral reef and get ourselves some tropical fishes. Six 
16 fishes later and we have more life in this place. And now I can say this place is ready for Lemon to move in. Hello, your new home is ready, little guy. Come with me. Where are you? Oh, here you are. Okay, how do you like it? Oh, he's already flying around. Oh, he's, oh, he's taking a swim with the fishes. I think he likes it. They grew up so fast. You know what? There's one more thing it may need. A jukebox with some music. Hmm? Oh, you really like to swim. <laughs> you are too far from the music to dance, but that's okay. I won't make you dance if you don't want to. But even though Lemon now has this whole place, he still lost his friend. So maybe we should go and find him some more parrots so they could live together here. Okay, we're in the jungle and... Oh, there are chickens here. Well, chickens are also birds. We don't ask for ID. Every bird is welcome here. Out. Can you please go a little bit faster maybe? No, this is better. Okay, so stay here for now, I'll get some more parrots. Finally, after, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes of searching, we have twins. I found one more on my way here and now we have a whole family. But we need to name them. Chick for our chicken, of course. And we have two twins. And we have one more name tag and one more parrot to name. And this one is for you to decide what should we name our last parrot. Let me know in the comments and of course, let me know how do you like this place. Honestly, I absolutely love it. You know, sometimes even if you don't have an idea, if you start doing something, the idea will just come to you, like Lemon in this episode. Seriously, I had so much fun working on this video. I know it's been a while, I got really sick lately and again, I lost my voice, but I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. If you did, consider subscribing and leave a like and I will see you in another one. Bye!